So in today's video, we're going to talk about making a passive $10,000 a month income within the first two years of your career. So the reason I'm doing this video is that passive income is always a hot topic. People want to know how to make uh, an income without necessarily having to work for it. And while you do have to work up to the point of getting a 10,000 passive income, the forthcoming months and years, uh, it is possible with the right arrangement and system in place to sustain a $10,000 income. And what we're going to do in this video is go through the blueprint of how to put this together. We're going to talk about the products necessary to make this happen, the steps and transitions you'd have to make in order to uh, start with a passive income or get to the point of writing a passive income product, and what kind of activity and production you need to have in order to make this so. And then just as important, not just how to get to 10,000 passively a month, how to keep getting a passive income of 10,000 a month. So there's not a lot of talk with that. So we're going to also uh, speak on that a little bit as well. My name is David DeFord. I own DeFord Insurance Group. We train agents to sell final expense in person and over the phone. We also train them to pick up passive income generating products like Medicare and ACA to build their way into a second stream of income that is largely passive. And if you're interested in that kind of thing, head over to davidufordcom forward slash FAQ to learn more about how our system works and to see if you may be a good fit for it. So let's talk about the uh, overview of how to make this type of passive income a reality. So I like to do this more on a practical basis, right? Because I could tell you, okay, sell Medicare to start with. And I think now what I've experienced as an agency in the past couple of years of doing this, uh, I would be doing you a disservice. So, um, I'll, and I'll explain that as we go. But sometimes in order to get to where you want to be, you've got to start somewhere else, right? Um, there was a, a guy who was in a, a, a pop singer back when I was a kid uh, in the early 2000s. Can't remember his name, John something. And uh, he loved blues. He loved playing. That's what his passion was. But nobody cares about blues. They care about pop music. So he started pop music, did very well there, and then eventually transitioned into blues. And that's how he kind of made his mark over the rest of his career. So sometimes you got to take a different direction to get to where we want to go. And uh, that's just the price you have to pay in order to get to the place where maybe you couldn't start with. So this will all make sense as we explain it, but keep that concept in mind because it makes all the difference. So here's how we recommend agents to getting up to a $10,000 passive income within their first couple of years. So first of all, we start with final expense. Dave, final expense is a first year commission product. Why are we selling that if we wanna make a passive income? Well, here's the problem, it's money. Most of y'all out there, if you're like me, don't have a lot of money laying around, especially starting off is how I mean. Uh, I had four cards, uh, credit cards maxed out, barely enough to buy my, my batch of leads on the last and final card. Uh, I had to start off with final expense because I had to pay bills like yesterday. And so for most of us out there, we're going to be in a position where we need to make money quickly getting involved in the insurance space. It's just the way it is. And I deal in reality, not fantasy. And what final expense is good for, whether you're selling this over the phone or in person, doesn't matter to me. But what final expense is good for, it pays a good first year commission. You should be after, if you're set up with the right commission levels, you're set up with the right lead programs after expenses, you should be making four to $600 per sale net income. So if you've wrote three policies, you should be making somewhere in the uh, oh, $1,200 range, $1,000 to $1,500, roughly speaking. Yes, yeah, so it definitely would include telesales. doesn't really matter. Uh, either way, it's a, it's a great profit-oriented business model that has good economics, and it's a good way to start the business. And as we will learn here, to build sales skills, build fundamentals of selling, and build a bankroll. Because what we ultimately want to do is develop a passive income but we also have to first pay the bills for most of us. So starting final expense, that's what we do at the Ford Insurance Group. We don't take Medicare only agents anymore because this problem I'm describing here about money is how 95% of agents start. And they fail out of these passive income business models because they start with the end in mind. And that's not how we wanna start, or at least with the product that they wanna end with when they should start with something else. So if an agent's really doing well, to start with, they're making good sales, they're learning the system, it's likely they can transition into Medicare sooner than later. We generally recommend for an agent who is successful consistently, somewhere in the six to 12 month mark, to start picking up Medicare 
to build passive income if that's something that they uh, wish to do. So on the best case scenario, you're looking at probably a six month time point to where you'd have picked up Medicare policies, you got AHIP credentialed, and you're now listed as ready to sell and can begin to sell a uh, final expense or, or begin to sell Medicare. And it's at this point, you've got 18 months left of your 24 month deadline to start a uh, to build up to a $10,000 passive income. So if we do the math real quick, uh, final expense, excuse me, um, Medicare pays $25 in residual income for life for Medicare Advantage plans, which is what most would sell these days. That's the most popular Medicare plan to sell. So it pays $25 uh, a, a month. And there's for good agents, not great agents, but not bad agents, about one out of five policies lapses each single year. So that means we are going to keep 80% of what we're right. So if we want to have a $10,000 residual income from Medicare, it's pretty simple. You take $25 and then you divide it into 10,000, right? So if you take 10,000 divided by 25, we have $400 or 400 applications. But remember, we have to account for fall-offs, chargebacks, people who are dying, they switch plans, it happens to everybody. And so we want to factor in an, an 80% persistency rate. So we have to actually write more than the 400 necessary. So 80% or 400 divided by 80% gives us 500. So we need to write 500 plans in the next 18 months in order to develop a $10,000 a month passive income. Everybody with me so far? A bunch of math there throwing out at you. Go watch it again if you're watching the recording of this, but you'll see this kind of makes sense. So the last thing would be, well, we got to take the total number of apps we intend to write divided by the uh, the deadline remaining. So in this case, it would be approximately 500 apps divided by 18 months. And you're looking at roughly about 28 apps. I just rolled it up. And you need to write about 30 applications every single month or somewhere in the neighborhood of seven to eight Medicare plans uh, weekly in order within the next 18 months to develop an income of $10,000 a month, net income free and clear, clear passively. So, uh, and that's not counting guys along the way selling final expense. This is just purely the passive side. Most agents who transition into Medicare still sell final expense. So you're still gonna pick up a couple of final expense plans every week to pay the bills, make sure that your lead costs are covered. You're also probably gonna sell hospital indemnity plans, which is a great add-on, uh, uh, you know, uh, peanut butter and jelly type of close along with a Medicare Advantage plan. It covers the gaps in coverage there. That pays an additional two, three, four hundred dollars per sale. So that's a nice little first year commission bump as well. So we're not counting that, but you're going to also sell that too if anybody's concerned about, well, what about, you know, in the first couple of months, you're not making a lot of first year commission. That's true. But the sale of those products will help kind of boost your first year commissions. And within a matter of time, it's really that simple. And that's kind of the thing that uh, shocks most people. Like, does it's it, you think it's got to be complicated to make that kind of money? It doesn't have to be complicated. It's actually pretty simple. You take what works and then you scale it up and then you consistently execute on the strategy every week. Uh, the difficulty in this business, if there's a secret, is being able to consistently execute on your strategy for over a very long period of time. Most people lose interest, they get bored, they get frustrated, uh, they get attracted to shiny objects, they get off of the fundamentals. This is why having a mentor in your corner is so important because it can help you not stray from uh, the uh, fundamentals. It's that simple. 30 plans a month over 18 months gets you to 500 or four, more than 400 Medicare plans, and that's going to pay you approximately 10000 in passive income. So after we have achieved it, how do we keep it? I think that's an important thing to discuss here because we've got to make sure that we understand. Um, I was listening to Scarface's Push It to the Limit. And there's a line in there that says, you know, you got to learn how to keep it. Uh, my dad was just here. I haven't seen my dad in five years. It was nice to see him. Uh, interesting relationship he and I have. Uh, he sold his business, uh, made a lot of money along the way, made a lot of money at the exit, but didn't do a really good job of keeping it. Um, shorting Apple. These are some bad decisions my dad has made. <laughs> so he still works at 65. I, he wouldn't have it any other way anyway. But anyways, you got to learn how to keep your money. So it's not just making it, learn how to keep it. So I, I want to kind of speak on to this too, because if, you, if you're if you thinking about going this direction, 
and you start with a life insurance product, it's a very sales oriented product. It's great to sell. It makes good money, but there's not a lot of service orientation to selling life insurance. But with Medicare, there absolutely is. So you got to kind of shift your mindset and remember that a good offense sometimes is a good defense, right? So you got to play defense, got to play uh, defense and make sure that you're keeping what you sold in order to maximize your passive income output. So what are some strategies to do this? Number one, you got to have a retention strategy in place. Now, this can be very simple. Uh, nothing I'm saying here is earth shattering. You got to guess what? Talk to your clients. You got to send them text messages. You got to send them resources that they'll appreciate. Some people send out a quarterly newsletter, a monthly newsletter. You got to send out the cards, birthday cards, holiday cards. You got to do reviews with your clients. You got to make sure they remember that you are their agent and they appreciate you and would never want to switch. But that takes an active, intentional effort on your behalf being proactive, not reactive, not like you just switched on me. What happened? No, that's reactive. You want to be proactive. Like, hey, I'm just calling to make sure everything's okay. What can I do to help you? Do enough of that. People won't leave as often as, as they might may otherwise do. You also need to institute some kind of referral harvesting method. Okay. So one of the great things about Medicare is that it refers easily and effortlessly. And the best way to get referrals is to be referable, be somebody who's of service that helps. Make sure you intentionally ask for referrals. Uh, one out of four people, I think, are disgusted or frustrated with their health insurance or Medicare plan. So it's highly likely that your client knows people who would be willing to sit down with you and talk about options for Medicare. But you've got to avail yourself to it and let them know that you appreciate referrals and maybe even kind of expect them. But getting referrals uh, is the funnest way to sell. It's the highest closing percentage, and it's a way to still build your book of business without the same effort um, uh, required that you would from buying leads. And the last thing is, is to be truthful here. There really isn't anything in life, maybe besides, I don't know, uh, being a trust fund baby, maybe is the only exception. There isn't anything in life that's truly passive, right? Like where you just sit around and collect checks without risk or without effort. Uh, and maybe calling this passive income is not accurate for residual income that is semi-passive is more accurate. Uh, but you're going to have to be involved, right? You can outsource a lot of this stuff to your team. Likely at this point, you may have or may want to incorporate a team, somebody you can pay uh, to do the follow-up work, to do the, the basics, to make sure everybody's happy. A lot of scaling agents in the Medicare space do that. It's a smart investment, in my opinion. But understand that the work never stops. It just tends to lessen once you hit those levels and you kind of learn how to work smarter with what you got to hold on to what you got um, after you put in that initial effort for, for a couple of years to build up the income that you want. So uh, that is how we do it on the passive residual income, perhaps better word to describe it, uh, 10,000 a month model within two years or less. Uh, if you're interested in doing this, we teach agents to do this. This is just kind of like par for the course for what we do. Uh, we start agents with final expense. And if they're uh, willing and able, uh, get them migrating into Medicare as a cross-sell opportunity. Uh, we explain that more and how it works at davidduford.com forward slash FAQ. And if you want a bunch of free Medicare training, go to davidduford.com forward slash ISS. We have uh, uh, scripts, courses, details on Medicare, health insurance sales as well, and much more. So make sure you open up a free account there. And thanks for watching.